Hi, this is Saktoth, and this is Istralid Beta 46.6. We've arranged new parts this patch, including the dampener, which reduces the projectile speed of a weapon by 8%, and the energy usage by 25%. This allows you to have incredibly energy efficient weapons, powering them off just a few solar panels. But the downsides of using only the base stats of the weapon, and the slower projectile speed, means that it's often best to mix them and balance them out with other mods, as you can see with the green ships here, using speed coils and the new demi spinal to balance out some of the weaknesses of the dampener. We also have a new weapon, the orb launcher. This is a lightweight bombardment weapon with a high base range, but a low base DPS. It also has an arming time, which means that it can't hit units at close range. And even though it can create a lot of projectiles, it's completely ineffective against these fighters. The reason it can create all these projectiles is because its high base range means you don't need as many mods. You can just stack as many mounts as you want or use a checkerboard pattern with mods in order to increase the amount of DPS you're getting from the weapon. Next we have the lightweight demi spinal mount. This is a spinal mount specifically created for smaller ships because the regular spinal mount is getting changes adding more weight, more cost and more base range. However, the flat bonus from all spinals now applies after the cumulative bonus from range mods, meaning that spinals now have a lower maximum range and a higher minimum range, making range mods less essential and less beneficial on spinal mounts. Finally, Goro will be happy because we're adding the EMP warhead. Much like a regular warhead, this explodes on impact, but instead of dealing damage, it drains energy from the targets. This can leave packs of fighters completely stranded. This patch also adds a large bulk thruster and a compact cruiser thruster. This is a 2x2 two two bulk thruster, larger than the 1x3 regular bulk thruster, and a 1x2 cruiser thruster, which is smaller than the regular 1x3 cruiser thruster. This lets you build more symmetrical ships and choose just how much thrust you want. You may have also noticed all this beautiful shadowed volumetric armor. Every player with the Curves and Shadows DLC gets instant access to this. You'll also find a bunch of bug fixes and small balance tweaks in this patch, including a fix to the order dropping errors. So why not try Istralid for free on Steam or right in your browser at www.istralid.com.